All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. A little in the weekly news. We haven't done one lately. But when a story comes up, I put it up. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in. Wipe your feet on the rug. Throw some smoke in the air. I'm smoking something that Erica Badu put out. I don't even know the name of it. It's fucking amazing. Okay? Let's get right into this story. More than 50 arrested after raid on Italy's most powerful mafia group. More than 50 people have been arrested in a raid against one of the most powerful mafia groups in the world. The raid on the Andracata Mafia, dubbed Operation Carpantos, involved more than 400 officers from the Carbonieri police. Some 38 people have been jailed, six put under house arrest, and eight given orders not to leave their hometowns, the force said. The operation was led by prosecutor Nicolo Grateri, one of Italy's best-known anti-mafia investigators. Police said the mafia group was linked to large-scale drug trafficking, money laundering, and extortion. What's new? The Indragata supplanted Sicily's Cosa Nostra as the country's most powerful mafia organization earlier this year and has spread across Europe and the rest of the world. The group originates from Calabria, the impoverished southern region at the tip of Italy's boot. It expanded substantially from the 1970s onwards when it reinvested ransom money from kidnappings, one of its main activities at the time, into public work projects and drug trafficking, especially cocaine. The Andragada kidnapped dozens of high-profile victims, including celebrities such as John Paul Getty III, the scion of the U.S. oil family. Abducted in Rome in 1973 and held prisoner for five months in the Calabrian mountains. In the latest six monthly report, Italy's anti mafia investigative dictorate, DIA, calls the Indragata the absolute dominant force in the criminal world well beyond its home turf. The Indragata is known to have an established presence as far as Canada and Australia, as well as in most of Western Europe, with local cells that usually retain strong links with their Calabrian homeland. Italian prosecutors and investigators routinely complain that their European counterparts their European counterparts underestimate the extent to which the Calabrian mob has infiltrated their countries and say all European Union nations should copy Italy's tough anti-mafia laws. See, you know why there's not too many stories about the Indragata? Because they know what they're doing. Huh? You don't hear Indragata sell uh, infiltrated due to wiretaps or... CIs, I mean, it happens, but not all the time. They keep it tight. So it's good to do a mob story. Uh, I have an announcement to make. This week will be the last week that we do the morning show on this channel. A week from today, this channel becomes strictly mob stories forever. Mob-related material or mob stories moving forward the Power Hour, the morning show with me and Mel Kwan. For those of you that come into the Power Hour in the mornings, starting next week, we'll be going live from the Power Hour channel. I'll put that link in the description box of this video so you guys know where to go to for the morning show. But a week from now, this channel becomes strictly mob stories and mob-related content. Like I said, I'm smoking something from America Badu cookies or whatever. It's amazing. We'll talk soon. Salute.